YouTube! Que pasa? Welcome back to another Bleach Brave Souls video and I'm right now in action on my alt account and this is just a quick reminder update video. I mean, I've yesterday made a video on the on the new updates and literally the best event to farm potions and to farm literally every material you actually need in pve gameplay and i'm talking about this one here brawl quest and it's up till uh till um i don't know it's up for nine days okay yeah it's up for nine days and it just came live today in the morning and guys and girls everyone that sees this video and it's not farming this event uh, i don't know what you're doing wrong farm this event this event is literally the best event to get materials, jewels, crystals, um, accessory, essential materials. You get literally tons of brushes you need for, to reroll your second accessory slot. I mean, last time around this came, I went up to almost 20k brushes. And I still have 7k left and I personally don't have any more use for them because I literally have every accessory more than twice. And... Every accessory has already the perfect second slot. So for me, there is no point in farming this event apart from maybe running it for, for pots or something. And what you want to be doing, you either use a uh, crystal farming team like this one. So use like a main runner, which is really OP. And then uh, on the side, use two units that are purely there for giving out extra bonus. Um, to get extra materials, to get extra crystals, jewels, more coins and stuff. Trust me, the value is insane of this banner um, because you get in so many materials. And if you farm this event until it's over, literally spend orbs to get thousands of tickets, fr crush this event, literally destroy it. Just, just keep playing this event over and over on the hardest difficulty. And then you will be easily... Uh, accumulating so many materials that you literally don't ever have to never worry about running off materials again in this game because this game was so easy. If you don't have this Eisen, this Eisen would be perfect, for example. If you don't have him, use Yama. If you don't have him, use, uh, I don't know, use 6th Anniversary Eisen, use this Kisuke, use 5th Anniversary Byakuya. Literally any good character can solo clear this very easy. Um, and, and equip that main runner with like the, the hardest hitting set you can give him. And then your other two side units, give them all uh, those uh, gold watches and give them links that also increase crystal jewel drops and uh, or, or increase um, coin drop. And that's one, one team you want to be using if you're up for materials. The second team you want to be using uh, instead of that is maybe a team with pot units. So use the same main runner as in the same team. And then, as you second two units, use pot bonus units. So I'm using this Kisuke. He's giving me extra um, lila pots, purple pots. And I'm using this Christmas Noel because she's giving me extra orange pots. So I'm getting hard pots and mind pots. And per run, per five times tickets, per ticket, you get in about, with a pot bonus unit in your team, you get in around uh, 7 to 12 pots. Without a pot bonus unit in your team, you get in around... Um, two to three pots per run. So basically, that's another setup you want to be doing. And if you're doing it like this, you could also combine these two these two team setups. So one for crystal farming, one for pot farming, and one if you make the same runner in both teams and on your other two units, equip them with the same equipment you gave your crystal farming team in the beginning. And that way you're combining both. And I would recommend definitely a pot farming team and equip them with uh, character links um, crystal character drop link slots because that way you are getting the bonus of pot units and you are getting the bonus for um, for crystal and jewel drops. So give them like these links right here, something like that and equip them fully and then just run this event times 10. I'm not going to, um, uh, I wasn't going to do it times 10 because I don't need the event, but yeah, I'm going to just do one run and show you exactly what you get. All right, let's just do it times 10. Right, and this event is, is literally so easy. Like any character can clear this mostly on auto if he's somewhat built up. And you gotta be careful though. Sometimes you spawn uh, in the middle, or may sometimes the the mobs spawn right around you, and it could be like um, some of these uh, spawn like these big guys here can literally one shot. 
you like they can literally one shot a max transcendent unit so you gotta be careful like sometimes positioning maybe plays a big part of it but like i said if you are using like sixth anniversary eyes and uh, at bare minimum of fifth anniversary biaku you shouldn't have any troubles beating this on my main account which you're seeing right now i won't be farming this event at all because like i said i don't need any more materials um, but I have my PS4 alt account and uh, there I'm already farming like crazy. I'm doing times 10 runs over and over. And you see these big uh, Mr. Seaweed guys, they actually they actually can one hit you pretty nasty too. So definitely be careful when you're running um, these stages. Like I said, choose a character you might be. Yeah, you might be wanting to give your main runner some, uh, at least one uh, last ditch survival link maybe too because that way he just has a bit more survivability and um, is able to survive this quest even more likelier and make sure um, your other two units are like I said equipped with bonus drop equip, uh, equipment so these Karakura Riser watches to get extra gold give them coin link uh, link uh, units as um, link slot units and that way you will be able to get the most out of this event like i said this event is up for nine more days so if you are farming this event until it's over you're literally you're literally good to go you won't probably never ever need to farm again materials if you go real hard on this event see it like that um if you spend orbs on this event it won't be lost so I would personally, uh, if you are a fresh player, for example, if you're a new player, this is literally the best time to come into the game and start playing this quest fresh over and over. Just destroy this quest because literally as a new player, you're getting tons of materials. And yeah, that's going to benefit you right in the beginning. You get loads of essential materials. Obviously, you get loads of um, XP crystals and you get loads of pots. You get loads of everything. So let me, let me see what the drops are now at the end of the quest, end of the first time. So we did a times 10 run. Because I didn't use any link slot units, uh, no, I didn't use any uh, crystal link slots. Um, I'm not getting any bonus, but you see, you're getting droplets, you're getting normal uh, crystals, you're getting pots. So as you can see, six pots here, five pots there, two pots there, five pots there. You get from every color, every run you get in pots. You're getting Hogyukus, you get loads of Hogyukus. You get these hearts, which you need to level up your materials, your your um, your accessories. And the best thing, you're getting brushes. Per run, you can get one, uh, you can get two to seven brushes per run at times. So there, next ticket, you get in round this then there is one more ticket i've got one brush then there is here one more run i've got seven pots this time another brush here eight pots this time two brushes um here again eight pots one brush so five pots six pots three pots so yeah as you can see you're getting loads of here you see four brushes this time another five brushes for, so let's count up all those brushes. So uh, remember, I have the Bonanza Pass, so I'm getting two more runs. Without those two more runs, let's just uh, detract them at the end. So we have four, five, that's nine already. Another four brushes, that's 13. Another two brushes, that's 15. Another three brushes, that's um, 18. Another brush, that's 19. Another brush, 20. Another two brushes, 22, 21, uh, 23, 24, and the last one, uh, 27. So a times 10 run got me, without the Bonanza Pass, 27 brushes. If I'm counting the other two on, oh, I, I mean uh, 24 brushes. If I'm counting the last one too as well, the, the, the two for the Bonanza Pass, I've got 29 brushes. So... That was just one times 10 run. Now imagine you're doing these times 10 runs, literally for thousands of tickets. You're going to go home at the end of the day with at least, at least 6K brushes. So if you know, if you're spending 1,000 tickets, you might even get more. I remember last time around, I spent around 1,000 tickets purely on this event, and I got me like 12K brushes. So like I said, sometimes you can be, uh, it's, it's RNG as well. Sometimes you get free, 
but you can get up to like eight or even nine brushes at a time so basically you're getting loads of materials and yeah this event is definitely like i said worth it you could also use droplet bonus uh, link slot characters that would also be an option if you if you're wanting to grind for um for 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 droplets rather than pots that's also possible but i would recommend definitely that what you need so if you're looking for pots definitely go for pot bonus unit if you're looking for droplets purely then go for droplet bonus character if you're looking for character material ascensions so i mean crystals and stuff then obviously go with a fully equipped crystal um grinding team and that way you're gonna get loads of materials and that's basically what you want to be doing the next days guys i mean this event is it's not coming back as often like it's maybe up there once a year so grinding this event to the utmost maximum is definitely the best thing to do and yeah that's it that's that's it for from me today thanks for joining by the way stay updated uh, join our discord server the most um, freshest news come in every day. So as soon as there are any news regarding new banners or stuff, um, it, it, it's, uh, if, if there is any rerun banners or if there's any upcoming events, you will get the news straight away in our Discord. So join our Discord. It's steadily growing. We are an active BBS community. Um, we have our own guild. We're going to make a second guild the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. If uh, anyone is looking for an active guild, um, I will be making another guild recruitment video as soon as the second guild is up. It's going to be getting run from my alt account. And yeah, we are looking always for active PBS players to join our community. Thanks for joining. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys next time.